There's so many things you can do with Canva and creating a scrolling animation is probably one of it. So in this video, we're going to see how you can use Canva to create a scrolling animation. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing for you to do when trying to create a Canva scroll effect is for you to open Canva up either with your phone or with your system so once you open the camera app you quickly come to where you have video and click on it okay so once you click on video and this is where you're going to land now if you notice we have a white background here you can choose any color you can select any color of your choice but for the sake of this video we will be using black so you click on color and you change the white background to a black background okay so once you, that is done the next thing for you to do is for you to click on to where you have text and you add a heading okay so here you can type in whatever you want to do type depending on what you want to create but for me i want to create a, a reconstruct every kind of video so i'll quickly type in here r e v okay so here i am so okay i have Marie here then if you're not okay with the font you can come to where you have this the drop down button and you select your preferred font so for this video i'll be using four pins medium okay okay so you can also choose to resize the text so i have to say Okay, so once you're done with that, the next thing for you to do is for you to quickly come to elements, then you select any shape. Now, we need a rectangle, so we will stretch this and also make this of this size. Okay, so you can also copy this here because we will need it later and drop it somewhere here. Okay, you can also copy the text here and have it somewhere okay so once you copy this you can now type in other element or other words you want to use for your video so i'm going to do this it's after typing in the text you can also choose to change the color of your text to any color of your choice so for this i will be using something similar to this okay so i have this then i also have to resize my text to be in line with the rectangle that i have here so i can also stretch this so that it's it will fit in well for me okay so i have this i have this and this is okay then this is okay so i'll go back to my rectangle here and i'll stretch this something like this and i'll bring it down here and stretch it to this point okay so this i'll come to position make sure you bring it to front yeah then you quickly come here and change the color to match that of your background okay so once that is done you also have to duplicate this okay so you duplicate this and take it upward here perfect okay so we have these and we have this so we have this for this we have brand and this is okay so you can reduce the length of this to your preferred length then you click here to copy so this was one of the reasons i said you should use a video because if you're using a normal um picture or image template you won't be able to do this so that's why it is advisable to use a video okay so once you have the sickle clip you click on this and drag it upward to have your structure here okay so this is all you're going to do till you reach the last word of your video you do same to the end of the word you have there 
okay so this might be my last clip so how to do this well okay so this is done okay so after arranging your clip that way the next thing you want to do is for you to add transition so you quickly come in between each of these page and where you have a transition and you click on hard transition so what you're going to use you're going to use match and move okay so once you click on match and move you click on match and move then you apply between all pages and you have that okay so if you're still not comfortable you can as well still address this size okay. so once you're done with that you click on add page to add a different page okay so this time around we want to animate our pictures so so to do this i'll first of all go to text then what i did was i simply went to one of these templates here and just bring in the template okay so i have this template here i'll quickly bring it in then resize it and position it somewhere once that is done i'll go back to my elements then bring in my rectangle then i have to bring it somewhere here and stretch it to this point adjust it to get exactly what i'm looking for and i have something like this okay so this is pretty nice so once i've gotten my picture so i'll go back to my upload you can download your pictures and upload it you can just click on upload to bring in files from your system so like mine i have them already here so i will animate this one by one so i'll bring this in i will bring this in i'll bring the images i want to use i will bring all of them in okay so having this the first thing i want to do I'm, i want to make sure that i've arranged these images in in such a way that it fits into it. so i'll try to use this to measure it to make sure that everything is okay okay so i have my first image here i've arranged this so i'll do same for all the images i brought in because i want them to be of the same shape and of the same size Okay, so after arranging my images and they're of the same height and the same width, okay, so I have to group these images together. So I'll bring this here, shift this here, then bring it to. So I'll bring this in here. I'll have to join it like this. Okay, so once I drop here, the next thing I want to do is for me to group it. So I'll do this. Okay, so once I click group the first one, I'll shift it upward, then bring in the next clip and do the same thing. Okay, so once you're done joining all your clips together, the next thing for you to do is for you to animate your clip. But to animate your clip, it click keep this here then you still have to go back to your element to bring in another rectangle so that you'll be able to mark some part okay so we have this here and don't forget to change the color to black to match that of your background okay so we will duplicate this Okay, so we have this here, just like what we did to our text, we will repeat the same process for these images here. So at the end of the day, you do this, you copy, you duplicate each of these pages. And once you duplicate, you drag this up. If you do the same thing to the next page, you do Okay, so once you're done duplicating your clips, the, you, the next thing for you to do is to bring in your transition. So you still click on transition and you add match and move. 
and don't forget to reduce the size to your preferred size okay so you can add it between all pages then you reduce the size when necessary so after the first text the end of the last text and the beginning of this you can just quickly click on that to take off the transition here take off the transition there so at the end of the day you're going to have something exactly like this okay so guys this is all you can create a simple scroll effect using canva so we're going to end here for today please do well to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet and also turn on your bell notification so that you receive update on my next video thank you so much